Lord, and we are just now finding out who will actually fit on that stage of all those candidates for the Democratic 2021st debate coming up at the end of June, uh, because the lineup is now being announced. So, you know, it's two nights, and everybody's concern was that you'd be on, like, one tier, and then there'd be a second tier. We can tell you that the first group of 10 appearing on Wednesday, June 26, Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, former uh, Representative Beto O'Rourke of Texas, Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, former Representative John Delaney of Maryland, Representative Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii, former Housing Secretary Julian Castro, Representative Tim Ryan of Ohio. Remember, he took on Nancy Pelosi for Speaker of the House. She's now the Speaker. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and Washington Governor Jay Inslee. Uh, the second group of 10 appearing on Thursday, so the very next night, June 27th, uh, Senator Kamala Harris, former Vice President Joe Biden, South Bend, Indiana, Pete Buttigieg, Mayor. They left out a word here. Hmm. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, <clears throat> Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado, author Marianne Williamson, Representative Eric Swalwell of California, entrepreneur uh, Andrew Yang, and Governor John Hickenlooper of Colorado. Uh, where the candidates will stand on stage reportedly each night has not yet been determined. So you don't know who your next door neighbor is going to be, but they split this up. Jessica, you said you don't believe this is random. Was no, I don't Lisa? believe I Lisa said, said that. Said this. Oh. Because you've got night two, you've got um, Biden, Sanders, Kamala Harris, and Pete Buttigieg, and we're supposed to believe this is random. Look, anyone who's Kamala's most of the time, these, Harris is two. Yeah. Most of these committees, they, you know, you put your thumb on the scale a little bit. They're going to want ratings. They're going to want people to tune in. I also think if you're someone like Pete Buttigieg or Kamala Harris, you want to be on the stage with Biden. That's the stage where right. it's at. He's the front runner right now, although his lead has been slipping in Iowa. But that's where you want to be. And if you're someone like Pete Buttigieg, this is a moment to capitalize on for these lesser known candidates well, let's, with, let's with a little lesser known uh, name ID. This is your moment. All right. So let's not downplay the fact that Senator Elizabeth Warren has yeah. come up I, to yeah. second place that's in the some polling. But, she's and we alone. but we Hang haven't on. seen the real clear politics yeah. average, but she's now picking up poll after poll where she's in second place. She's the first night. And, you know, you could think of it two different ways. You could think of it, Ed, as, yes, you get to go against the you know, inevitable front runner, as, as he's being called right mm -hmm. now, but inevitability can also bite you. Um, or you could say that she gets to stand atop a stage. Uh, that's the way I see it. I think the headline is, and I'll let Jessica jump in because she's a Democrat here, and I know she, her and I have been talking off air about it. Elizabeth Warren, the headline here is, is night one. She has a stage almost to herself with a bunch of other second, third tier folks. Cory Booker, Beto O'Rourke, Klobuchar. Now, uh, to be fair to them, maybe one of them will, or more of them will have a big night. But Elizabeth Warren's been rising in the polls because she's got all these plans that the left loves, okay? And she has a chance to become like a second front runner. Night one is when you're going to have millions of people tuning in. There'll still be a lot on night two. But no Joe Biden. She has the stage to herself almost to really stand up. Maybe maybe she'll fail. Maybe she won't rise you know to the what occasion. She can do, though? I think it's a big, big opportunity uh, for uh, Jessica, I'll let you get in here really quickly. Ed Rendell former governor who ran the DNC said Elizabeth Warren needs to go after Bernie Sanders and basically push him off because they are the Boris and Natasha. But she's already doing it. Left. She's already oh, right now. She's not okay. on the stage. I, I she's get... not on the stage with him so she can go after him and him not have to, she, and him not have to catch here, his comebacks. Echoing what Ed said, that was my read of this immediately, that Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden now are the two front runners. They are the ones headlining both of their stages. Bernie's camp has got to be upset about this. I'm not saying he doesn't want to be with Biden. He absolutely does. But the idea that she she is getting the far left progressive sunshine on her and saying you're going to lead night one and Joe Biden's going to lead night two is tough. And they're putting him in deep competition with Harris and Mayor Pete. Right. All right.